It's a bill that requires sex ed courses to go beyond the abstinence only approach, something State Representative Susan Lontine so says some districts are still doing. Not trying to replace parents. Despite a 2013 law that called for comprehensive sex education, but left the door open for districts to opt out. They're going to look for these answers anyway. I believe it's better for us to provide them with good information than for them to go out and find bad information. If House Bill 1032 becomes law, school districts who choose to provide sex ed classes would be required to teach students more than to just not have sex. It's a broad overreach by the state. Jeff Johnston is a culture and policy analyst for Focus on the Family based in Colorado Springs. He plans to testify against the bill at its first hearing on Wednesday. I believe it's unconstitutional. Uh, Colorado State Constitution makes it clear that local districts will control the instruction in public schools in their districts, and this gives control to the state. Jeff also says it's a violation of people's religious beliefs. It mandates that schools teach an ideology that opposes this. So our question is why should the state seek to impose an ideology on those who disagree? It is not a school district's place to teach any kind of religious um, beliefs in our schools. Jordan Chavez, 9 News.